Get five coffins ready. Hey everyone, welcome to my guide for Susano. Susano is a super fun assassin who has been one of the most popular characters in the game since he was released thanks to his ability to both gank extremely easily to get himself ahead early on and tear teamfights apart later on in the match. Susano is viable in the jungle and the solo lane, but you need to be exceptional in both Susano and the solo lane to pull that role off, so for the most part he's just a jungler. Build-wise, Susano loves power, as he boasts of the highest power scaling in the game. He can flex in at least one defense item, usually a Magi's Blessing, if it's necessary, but of course most of the time you want to avoid going any dedicated defense items as his damage is just absolutely insane with 6 full power items. Relics wise it's usual for assassins, you want blink first, then bead second. Both of these are non-negotiable since Susano needs blink, like almost every assassin does, and he needs bead since he lacks any built in CC immunity. Relics wise both horn shard and claw shard are both good on him, and you know the drill, horn shard is more versatile whereas claw shard is more fun. Let's start off with Susano's most iconic ability. Susano's first ability has three sections, firing once at a cone in front of him, then an AoE around him, then a final stage makes Susano dash and deal reduced damage to any enemy hit. The firing of this ability will change depending on what sort of casting mode you use in Smite. On normal cast, the ability will be fired by using the ability button to get the targeter, then use a basic attack button to fire it, then the next section will be made available, and so on. On instant cast, however, the first section will be fired as soon as you press the ability button, and the following two sections of the ability cannot be fired by pressing the basic attack button, nor will the targeter appear for those sections either. Just to get it out of the way now, you want this ability on instant cast. Susano can be difficult from a technical perspective, but in terms of actually aiming his abilities, he's one of the easiest gods in the game. Each section is just one big AoE after another, so just get normal cast out of your head with this ability and swap it over for instant cast. Another reason for using instant casting with this ability is for the basic attack cancelling on it. If you hold down the basic attack button while the ability is fired, after a section completes, you will automatically basic attack as soon as the section finishes. And again, let's just get it straight, you need to learn how to do this with Susano. Don't get me wrong, sometimes you just need to mash this ability like no tomorrow to get some damage out, but 9 times out of 10 when you're using this ability, you want to basic attack 1, basic attack 1, basic attack and either dash in for extra damage or dash out depending on the situation. This isn't something too complex, but be sure to master the timing on the basic attack so you always reactivate the 1 as quickly as possible after a basic attack. It's not difficult at all to be honest, but it is something that's unique to Susano and as I mentioned, will be necessary to ensure you deal enough damage. This is in part due to almost always needing to use the dash at the end of the ability to either get in to continue your combos, or get out if you need to escape. Susano being able to get 3 basic attacks in plus the first 2 sections of his first ability in quick succession and have the option to either dash in or out after all of that is a huge benefit to him. Needing to dash in every single time just to deal enough damage for a kill sort of spoils this part of the character. So let's get into how you can set up for that first basic attack in the combo, as well as set up just about everything else for Susano with his second ability. After a brief delay, Susano deals damage in a wide cone AoE in front of himself. Any enemies in the center of the AoE, shown very clearly by the targeter, will be pulled in front of Susano. And speaking of that targeter, this is yet another ability you absolutely want on instant casting, but if you're unsure of the range, you can use quick casting to keep the casting of the ability quick while still having access to that helpful targeter. So this obviously has the potential to be the best hard CC ability in the game, but of course is held back by the range but more importantly the startup time. It's more than enough time for any decent player who knows how Susano works to simply use a CC immune ability or their purification beads to avoid the pull, or if they've got quick fingers, simply use their movement ability to move away from Susano. As a result, you always want to team the usage of this ability with blink, so your current combo is blink, 2, basic attack, then 1, and of course basic attack cancelling with your 1. Of course at the end of your 1, you want to try and judge whether or not it's safe to dive in, or if you want to just dash out. And to be honest, it should be very clear to you whether you want to dash in or out, largely based around whether or not they still have their movement abilities. Enemy movement abilities are a stickler for Susano, much like any other assassin then, but luckily, he has his third ability to help him deal with them in a way most assassins could only dream of. Susano fires out a projectile in front of himself. It will stop on the first enemy hit and does not pass through walls. Once the projectile stops, it will remain for 4 seconds. The projectile deals damage to any enemies standing in the small AoE every second. At any point within the 4 seconds, Susano can teleport to this projectile. But even better, if the projectile hits an enemy while it's initially firing, it will latch onto them and track them, and Susano is still able to teleport to this at any time, and if he teleports to the projectile while it's latched into an enemy, this ability's cooldown will be reduced to 10 seconds. So when you're in their face, you can basic attack and then teleport for a blazing fast basic attack cancel. So now you have two basic combos, blink, two, three, basic, three, and combo with your one. This does a trillion bajillion damage, estimated, but it gives up the one factor that makes Susano such a pain to play against. You see, that combo works well against gods who have no movement abilities, so you can let your teammates burn the enemy movement abilities first, or just use it on gods who have no movement abilities in their kit at all. 
but as the assassin, it's really up to you to burn those movement abilities. So what you can do instead is blink 2-3 but hold the 3 on them. From here, you can just start comboing with your 1 or keep yourself safe and just save this ability to teleport and your first ability to see what they do. Then if they use their movement ability, you can teleport along with them and start comboing with your 1. But this is all completely flexible depending on the matchup, but especially how your opponents play. And how good you are at Susano depends on how well you can adapt your playstyle on the fly. Since Susano's first ability has 3 activations, and his third ability has 2 activations, Susano technically has 5 points of interaction between these two abilities alone. And keep your first ability's dash in mind as well here too. Some characters are easy to chase with a dash, say if they have a dash or teleport themselves, but against gods with leaps, Susano becomes more reliant on following them with his teleport. And against players with fast fingers, you have to blink 3 rather than blink 2, which can be difficult given that the 3 is thin and can be blinded blocked by any nearby enemies including minions, so you have to be careful. This does, however, open up your 1's dash, your 2's pull, and your ultimate all as gap closers, so if you master blink 3-ing, the world becomes your oyster. You know, more so than before. This ability obviously isn't just a combo piece though. The fact that he can teleport to the projectile no matter what opens up to plenty of unique and fun opportunities. Naturally, it's an amazing escape, but it's not instant. It is awfully fast, just make sure you avoid getting body blocked or face planting into a wall with this ability. The fact that the 3 has a decently long cast time and that Susano has to use the first two sections of his first ability to get the dash is what helps keep his movement in check. Since if you're crowded by enemies, you can't 3 out since you'll just get body blocked, so you need to cast your entire first ability then use your 3 to teleport out to get the exceptional escape off. The classic move is 3 behind yourself, then blinking in and comboing, then 3 out. This also works in situations where you want to contest things like Gold Fury and Fire Giant, usually with your ultimate. Of course, against vulnerable enemies who lack movement abilities, you can simply 3-3-2 instead of blink 2-ing. But the 3's damage over time is no joke, so you gotta be sure you can deal a ton of damage without the aid of your third ability's damage. And that's why Susano's 3 typically isn't used in the more fun ways, since the damage is really exceptional. Luckily, Susano can use his incredible ultimate to help him deal that final bit of extra damage in case he needs it. Susano summons a Typhoon, which grows in size and damage over the course of 2 seconds, and lightly pulls enemies inside the Typhoon towards the center as it grows. After 2 seconds, the Typhoon fires in the direction Susano is currently looking, damaging and knocking up all enemies hit. Susano can reactivate this ability at any time however, but keep in mind that the size and damage will be lower. Also, the ability will not knock up until it has grown for at least 1 second, shown clearly by the AoE inside the Typhoon filling. Once the inner circle fills the Typhoon, it's ready to knock up. And keep in mind that this ability, like Susano's third and first ability, can function either independent of Susano once activated, or can be interacted with again. So once you spawn the Typhoon, you're free to do whatever you want. So once again, just like with your first and third ability, you have infinite combo potentials with this ability. The classic one is, activate the ultimate, then blink, then pull enemies, then reactivate the ultimate as you're pulling them. This is a pretty well known combo at this point, and it's obviously very risky, but it's loads of fun and super effective so long as it's not the way you start off a fight. You can of course do the same with ult 3-3, but that takes way too long to be effective. Enough of the fun stuff for now. How do you want to use this ability in normal circumstances? Realistically, you can put this ability at almost any point in your combo and it's going to be effective, but it's most effective in the middle or at the end of your combos. Typically, if you're using this ability raw or at the start of your combos, it's because there's already a team fight going on, which is totally fine as Susano. Given the fact that literally every ability can be used as a gap closer with Susano, Blink plus any of your other abilities puts you right in the fight even if you start out from far away, so sometimes your best option is just to chill in the back of fights and then wind the ultimate up. Then, if the ultimate hits someone important, you can look for follow up off of it, again remembering that you're free to use any and all of your abilities, including Blink, right up until the moment the ultimate actually hits something. That's later on in the match though. As I said earlier, when you're going for just regular ganks and combos, using the ultimate later on is best. When you're newer to Susano, it's totally fair just to do your regular combos and then save this ultimate to finish them off. I mean, the ultimate really does go very far. And of course, goes over walls too. And it will take some time, but try to get used to the size and range of the ultimate depending on how long it's been charged. But that said, if you really do need to just finish someone off, you can just mash your reactivation and it'll usually do the trick. The damage difference between minimum size and maximum size might not matter every time, but it can come up. Before I give you some examples with some combos, let's touch on Susana's passive. Every time Susana successfully damages an enemy god with an ability, he is granted one stack of passive. At 4 stacks, his next ability will deal bonus damage. And by bonus damage, I mean almost nothing on its own, but this passive does scale well with power, and even better, will apply on hit items like Heartseeker and the Crusher, meaning it is very impactful once you get later on into your builds. And luckily, each part of Susana's first ability counts for one passive stack, so you're guaranteed to get this passive off every full combo. During shorter combos though, try to get crafty and activate this passive any way you can. For instance, if you have the passive ready to activate, you may want to dash in when you otherwise may not have for some extra damage with the passive, especially once you have Heartseeker or the Crusher completed. And of course, if you're out of options but have your passive and ultimate, just mashing out the ultimate with the passive on it is truly colossal damage for something that's pretty much unmissable. Speaking of unmissable, here's some combos with Susano. 
Blink 2, Basic 3, Basic 3, 1, and finish them with your dash and or ultimate. Blink 3, wait for a movement ability 3, Basic 1, and chase with your 2 and or ultimate. 3, 3, 2, basic 1, basic ultimate, basic 1, basic reactivate ultimate, and basic attacks until you need to dash to catch up. Ultimate blink 2, reactivate ultimate, basic 3, basic 1, and save your dash and teleport unless you need to use it. Blink ultimate 3, 1, reactivate ult 3, and chase with dash and or 2. For a building level, you want your 3 at level 1, your 1 at level 2, and your 3 at level 3. You get your 3 at level 1 because the cooldown is so low, and the damage is almost the same as your first ability. From there you max your 1, your 2, then your 3. You can level the ultimate whenever you can, but it's not bad to max your 3 and then start leveling the ult. The 3's damage really is crazy. As is Susano himself. The guy has ran ranked from the jungle basically ever since he was released 7 years ago, and there's only been a few brief periods where he wasn't just absolutely everywhere. He's got some funky mechanics, but once you get used to them he's exceptionally easy to use, and when you master them he can be nearly unstoppable but against better and better players, the more stoppable he becomes. I know that's true for any god, but it's especially true with Susano. Susano's pull into teleport seems unbelievably broken at first, but get against enemies who know not to blow their movement abilities against you, or teams who crowd against whoever you put your 3 on, it can be difficult. But not impossible, and I think that's what makes Susano so exciting. Against kinda whatever players, you can wrap games up in a jiffy, but against good players, you have to pull out all the stops to get your combos out and break apart team fights with your ultimate so you can get into the enemy backline and destroy someone. It's enthralling, and unlike Anubis, Susano actually functions both against mediocre players and exceptional players alike, and you'll have a ton of fun doing it. So much like Sir Cat a couple of guys ago, if you play jungle and haven't tried Susano yet, there's really no excuse. He's too fun and been too good for too long for you to not at least give him a look. That's all I have on Susano for now. Thanks for watching.